Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash the subscribe button, hit the like, all of that good stuff. So this is unbelievable news. Jarrell Miller has failed yet another drug test. Now obviously Jarrell Miller was supposed to fight on July 9th against Jerry Forrest. That fight has obviously now been called off. Now the adverse finding was found by the Nevada State Athletic Commission and Jarrell Miller has been temporarily suspended while I guess this is investigated. I'm absolutely flabbergasted by this, you know, given what Jarrell Miller did previously, failing drug tests for multiple different substances, you would think on his comeback fight he would try and get on the straight and narrow and do things the right way, but it looks like that isn't the case. Now, the substance hasn't yet been specified, that has to be said, but given Jerome Miller's past and his previous, this really isn't a good look. And, you know, this story is going to grow and grow and grow. It's going to be intriguing to find out what substance Jerome Miller actually popped dirty for. Was it the same as the initial substances that he tested positive for? Are any trace amounts still in his system from those previous um, doping violations? You know, John Jones had something similar in the UFC where he failed a drug test. He got banned. And when he come back, there were trace amounts of that drug still showing in um, in drug tests. Is this something similar with Jerome Miller? Or is this a completely new substance? That's what I'm intrigued to hear about, is what, what is the substance that Jerome Miller has tested positive for? And is it one of the same substances he tested positive for first time around? We shall see. But um, listen, given Jerome Miller's track record, like I said, really not a good look. And obviously people are going to assume the worst, which they should do in cases like this. As they should do, because here in Jerome Miller we've got a guy, one of the most blatant examples of a cheat in the sport of boxing in the past few years, you know? So, um, we'll see how this unfolds. I do feel sorry for Jerry Forrest, to be honest, because this was a big opportunity. I'm sure he was getting paid pretty well. And, you know, for a heavyweight like Jerry Forrest, these opportunities don't always come up. So hopefully Jerry Forrest is compensated in some way because obviously he's been training, he's been getting inspiring. So hopefully Jerry Forrest is taken care of. He's actually had quite a few high profile fights fall through against the likes of Hergovic, Gassiev and now Miller. So I do feel a bit sorry for Jerry Forrest. And again, as for Jarrell Miller, this guy did what he did and now he's back. He had a great opportunity to really gate crash the heavyweight division once again. And potentially, he's messed it up all over again. If the guy is found guilty again of doping, it's going to be interesting in regards to what type of punishments are handed down to Jarrell Miller because surely they've got to throw the book at him for this one, given the fact what he'd done previously. And ha and actually, those, those previous offences, he really did get off scot-free, basically, you know? So, um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, crazy, crazy story. Jarrell Miller once again, has an adverse finding in a drug test. You couldn't make it up. You couldn't make it up. But, um, yeah, share your thoughts below. Peace.